Bell unveiled new images and video, showcasing the initial prototype of its Invictus 360, boasting completion surpassing 90%. Positioned as a cutting-edge helicopter, it marks Bell's submission to the Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program, FARA, setting the stage for a showdown against Sikorsky's Raider X. In 2019, the Texas-based aviation firm initially introduced the design of the Invictus 360, a traditional reconnaissance and light attack helicopter prioritizing speed and cost-effectiveness in production. At the HAI Heli Expo 2022 in Dallas, Texas, Bell representatives disclosed that the prototype was approximately 87% complete. The images reveal significant progress in shaping the Invictus 360, with its fuselage seemingly finished, particularly from an external standpoint. Its overall layout aligns with contemporary armed helicopters, featuring a tandem seating arrangement for the pilot and co-pilot, positioned one behind the other in the front section of the fuselage. Bell clarifies that its design does not prioritize significant optimization for radio frequency low observability, stealth. The Invictus 360 now boasts both main and tail rotors, each featuring four blades, fully integrated. Drawing inspiration from the rotor system of the Bell 525 Relentless Helicopter, the Invictus 360's rotor system is derived from it. While the initial design concept proposed a canted duct tail rotor assembly, Finestrin, the prototype now sports a traditional exposed tail rotor akin to the Relentless model. Bell has explained that this alteration was implemented to enhance performance and reduce weight. The recently released images from Bell depict the Invictus 360 prototype featuring mock-ups of its forthcoming armament suite components. These include an XM9 15-20mm 3-barrel Gatling-type automatic cannon mounted in a turret beneath the nose, along with two four-rail weapon racks positioned on either side of the central fuselage. When deployed, these racks are suspended on rails beneath the helicopter's stub wings. However, they have the capability to retract and be stowed internally when not in use, ensuring optimal performance. Mock-ups resembling either AGM-114 Hellfire missiles or AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground missiles JGM, along with Common Launch Tubes CLT, seem to be mounted directly onto the racks. CLTs, as suggested by their name, offer versatility by accommodating various munitions including air launch drones. The racks seem to carry representations of either AGM-114 Hellfire missiles or AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground missiles JGM, along with Common Launch Tubes CLT. These CLTs are versatile platforms capable of accommodating various munitions and air launch drones, as suggested by their name. In the context of the FAR program, the Army envisions the selected helicopter to have the capability to deploy different types of unmanned systems, known as Air Launch Defects ALE, from these tubes. After launch, the ALEs can operate collectively in swarms, executing stand-in electronic attack, loitering strike, surveillance, and various other tasks. According to a report from KEY.Aero, the primary component yet to be integrated into the Invictus 360 prototype is the General Electric T901 turboshaft engine. In this layout, the engine is positioned to the left of the main rotor assembly. Additionally, a Pratt & Whitney Canada PW207D1 turboshaft engine will be installed on the opposite side to offer auxiliary power. During that period, Bell expressed anticipation of receiving the T901 in November. However, the company acknowledged that any delay in its delivery could potentially affect the overall production and flight test timeline. Previously, Bell had articulated its aspiration for the Invictus 360 to undergo its inaugural flight by mid-2023, subsequent to a comprehensive ground testing phase. The objective is for the high-speed optimized Invictus 360 to achieve a minimum top speed of 180 knots a remarkable feat for a helicopter with a standard configuration. The Army aims to conclude the fly-off between the Invictus 360 and the Raider X in 2023 and promptly select a winner thereafter. Following this, 
The service plans to commence fielding operational units of the chosen design by 2028. Bell Invictus 360 helicopters are anticipated to replace the AH-64 Apache helicopters, which have been fulfilling the attack reconnaissance role since the Army retired its OH-58 D Kiowa Warrior Armed Scout helicopters in 2014 without a direct replacement. The fate of the AH-64s following this transition remains uncertain, but a considerable portion of them may be phased out entirely from the service's inventory.